first came to the Lord about four months ago, back in March, when we first started coming to Calvary Chapel. Everybody here is just so friendly and loving. Before I came to the Lord, um, I was always lost and afraid and didn't really know where I was going in life. And since I've come to the Lord, that fear and that emptiness is gone and there's, there's joy replaced there now and I just, I, I can't get enough. I had been water sprinkled like so many other people but had never been immersed and now that I have surrendered fully to the Lord, I felt like that's what I needed to do. Um, I first came to the Lord when I started coming to this church. My dad actually introduced me to the church. I wanted to get baptized because I figured since I got saved that I should get baptized. I haven't had as much problems and I haven't worried. My girlfriend Irene introduced me to Calvary Chapel. Pastor David's, David has definitely had an uh, impact on my life here. He's just uh, filled with the Holy Spirit and the teaching from the Bible is just awesome. Well, I feel like I've been saved. I need to be uh, immersed, but it's, it's all been different since we've been here at Calvary Chapel. Oh, it was just, it was horrible before. Uh, the living in the flesh and, and drinking and partying all the time, and now it's totally different. It's just filled with the Holy Spirit. Joel and Orrin Fisher, who are our neighbors and great friends, invited us to come to Calvary Chapel quite a few times. I came into church and uh, that first day, God wiped the mud out of this blind man's eyes and opened it up to the Lord the very first time I was here. And ever since, I've just been hook, line, and sinker. After I found the Lord, uh, just tremendous amounts of changes have been in my life. I've started reading the Bible and um, just got to the point where he talks about that as of obedience to be baptized and I just want to do it for him for everything that my life has changed everything that he's done for me that it's a debt that I cannot repay it's the least I can do is be obedient and do everything that I can and for him to justify and glorify him I wanted the Lord to be happy um, for me and I decided to get baptized and um, my friend uh, well my mom's friend she works with her Bethany she invited us one day to um, Calvary Chapel and then my mom wanted to see it because we wanted to have the Lord in our life and then um, uh, we came and then we loved and we kept on coming I came to the Lord the first time I came to Calvary Chapel when I was in the children's ministry, now I, I am more happy that the Lord has been in my life and helped us and saved us from the bad things that happened to us. Bethany invited us to Cabaret Chapel because um, she wanted us to experience the Lord in us. Um, when I first came to Calvary Chapel a year ago, I wanted to tell more and more people about Jesus and to come to Calvary Chapel. I first came to the Lord when I was seven. I was a sinner in need of a Savior and my grandmother introduced me to hers. Um, I then went through a period of rebellion and against God and not walking with Him. So I uh, rededicated myself to Christ when we came here a year ago. The people that we've met in small groups and the people that I serve with in children's ministries that are just, it's like a family here. Since rededicating myself a year ago, I really feel that I should also get rebaptized as a, a profession of my faith from here on out. My life before, um, or at least when I was in that period of rebellion, was dark and full of worry and never had a peace about anything and always feeling convicted like I knew I was doing wrong and now I don't have that anymore I have a peace and I know everything's gonna be fine and he's in complete control and taking care of me and I just want to follow him. I rededicated my life about a year ago and uh, although I had known the Lord I don't remember not knowing the Lord um, I was raised always with the Lord in my home so of course I had to be like most of us and go off and try it my way and that didn't work so um, after I had my daughter 
which was quite a blessing because I wasn't supposed to have a daughter. I knew then that God was really working in my life even though I had not asked Him to and uh, for a long time. And uh, I rededicated my life about a year ago. Every day there's many blessings in my life. And I think I see those now, whereas before maybe I took them for granted. And um, there was a lot of negativity before in my attitude and, and probably my actions also. I've never been baptized. I've always been nervous because I didn't want to do it in a group of people. And uh, finally the Lord's just been eating, you know, He's just been pecking away at me. Hey, this is something you need to do. And um, I've prayed about it and prayed about it and I thought, you know what? He's not going to deny me, so I can't deny Him. We just kept passing by and we were looking for a local church and we just kept passing by and it was like something just kept saying, you need to go there. You need to try this out. And we just decided to come one Sunday and we've loved it ever since. I just find that everyone that I come in contact with, they're just awesome. They're like a family. Um, they're loving. You can just feel the love when you come in here. Nobody's going to reject you or condemn you or judge you.